Pinocchio ain't got no strings, but we can pull some with this Shadal deck profile. So with this Shadal deck profile, um, went ahead, updated a little bit, um, especially with Instant Fusion getting banned from the last time we did this profile. Um, obviously now we have Predator Plant Verte Anaconda uh, to us in the TCG. Um, and yeah, so let's see what we can combine with these two decks. Or with these all these new cards we got, I should say. Um, and it hasn't really changed too much, just more of the ratios of some cards. And... Um, and yeah, but we'll see what we get. We have in store. So with this, obviously with Shadal's um, Squamata, I had thinking the last profile I had this at two, but now I put it at three just because with it, um, one it could just be a body, and two you just want to see it more. Just send, especially if you don't send it from hand, but if you use it for like from, uh, or not from deck, but like from hand, um, especially if you have to like let's say start off with a fusion right away um, with Squamata. So that's why I run it at three now. Um, just because it's kind of like a foolish for all your Shadows, obviously. So that's why I bumped it up to three. Uh, for the next card, we play two Beast. Um, I think this has stayed the same since the last one. Uh, just because you don't want to draw multiple, just because it's level five. Obviously, if you get to use effect off of using a fusion spell or something, that's cool. But obviously, with these cards, you can only use one effect of that per turn. And only once that turn. So, um, so yeah. So just Beast is good just to get some... A little bit of draws, and yeah. Uh, for the next card I played, two Hedgehog. I think this one I had it at one. Uh, but bummed up to two just because you do want to see the Squamata more. Um, and, I mean, you don't really want to see the Wendy too much from, from your hand. But even if you do have it in hand, um, it's good as well. So we just played it. Um, so I just bumped it up to two. Um, and also, if you can get it, like, even if you have to set it, I mean, if that rivet comes down to that um you can at least search for one of your shadow spells and traps um especially if you can't get your construct play or something like that uh going uh for the next card I just play one dragon dragon's just there just for the utility of either returning cards or pop or popping spell and trap your opponent controls um so yeah so that's why i play the one dragon not much said about that uh obviously we play triple wendy just because she can summon any of them from the deck usually you I mean, going for, or you know, when you're doing your initial play, you usually want to go for the aerial first um, to do the whole construct play with the rest of all and everything. Um, so that's why I played three of her. And then for the last of all, um, play one aerial just because, like I said, you don't want to see it in hand most of the time. Usually you want to summon it out from the deck with Wendy um, because you want to use aerial's effect to uh, summon the construct back from hand. Usually that's how the play goes. Um, and yeah, that's really what we use her for. And then if Let's say you do some, you do get her back on the field or anything, and use her. Um, you use her, or if you do have to end up using her for, uh, like when she sent from for, to the graveyard by a card effect, you can banish up to three cards. So that's not bad. And then for the next card, obviously uh, we're still playing Invoked because Invoked is probably the best fusion strategy right now. Um, three Alistairs because why not? He's just really good. Baiting out the ash, baiting out whatever it needs to be, and most of the time, you know, usually you hear or you see videos where you, you summon them, you activate the meltdown. Your opponent tries to ash it, but you already have the Alistair in hand, and you know those memes and stuff. But yeah, Alistair, he's just too good not to play in this fusion strategy. Um, and then when it comes to like, because sometimes one of the things that it's hard to do with the deck is having. Not, it's not having light targets, but just having those monsters that can do something. Um, so I'm still playing the Mech Knights in the Shadal deck profile, kind of like I did in the last um, video. So I'm still playing the Triple Nightfall, the Double Sky, Blue Sky, and one Shifty Boy. Um, Nightfall, obviously, he searches by banishing himself. Um, Blue Sky, if you summon him and your opponent has cards. In that same column, you could search. Um, and then Indigo is just there as either another level 8 as well. I don't have any rank 8s in the extra deck. But um, he's just a really good card just to have out there. Just like I said, just more bodies on board. And if you do need to use these cards as fusion material from your hand or field, they're there as well. So, um, for the next cards, I still play the one damage juggling, one hat tricker. Um... Since we already play enough Magnites, that's why I don't play the hat, um, the uh, the clown. Um, 
because I feel like this is enough. Um, Juggler is a light target, so you can use it from hand. And obviously, once you use it from hand, as long as you don't draw the hat tricker, you can banish it and search the hat tricker just for extra generic rank four plays. And we do play the Shek and Naga, so uh, especially now with the new Schism, I do play one Schism. Um, you can use hat tricker to banish from the graveyard, uh, so you can summon the Shek and Naga. So yeah, you just play one of each. Um, and then for hand traps, the only hand trap I'm playing is the Gamma package. So we play three. Gamma one driver. Um, we do have Lambda in the grave, uh, or in the extra deck, I mean. Um, so yeah, we just play this also because, uh, let's say if, you know, you're going, let's say you're going second, and let the, you do have a monster summon from the extra deck, if you want your Shadow Fusion and they try to Ash it or whatever, um, you can use Gamma. So that way you can get your plays going. Um, and yeah, just a really good card, and then you can go into like Lambda or something, whatever need be, so you can at least get some kind of bodies on board with this. Um, but yeah, and then also their lights as well, so that's the good thing too. Once you use it for that part, you can use them for fusion fodder as well. All right, now on to the spells. Uh, obviously, you're playing Triple Meltdown, searches your Alistair, which then in turn searches your Invocation. Um, and yeah, and then if let's say you are using your fusion spells and traps, your opponent can't really do anything. Um, so yeah, three meltdown, just because it's a good card. Um, for the fusion spells, triple Shadal Fusion and triple L Shadal Fusion. Um, you want to see them as much as possible from your hand because you are going to cycle through them, through them a lot. You, you need to get Construct on board as fast as possible. Um, obviously, if you're going first, um, you just want to just turbo her out, turbo, turbo her out. Um, so that's why we max out on these. And um, for the next card, um, with the invocation, I felt like, you know, I mean, you could run through, honestly, a lot, I do see a lot of people run three, but I just like playing two invocation just because you have so many ways to get to Alistair. And then even if, and then once you, if you do banish Alistair for like a fusion or whatever need be, um, and he, and Alistair is a dark, I believe. Right. So let's say if you use the schism to banish a Shadal and something, you get a wind out. Um, and your invocation is in the grave, you can get it back that way as well. Um, so that's why I just thought two is enough. Um, because when you, the one thing I do notice is a lot of the time when I, let's say if you open up with invocation as your only fusion spell or your way to summon like a Shadal monster, it kind of sucks because you, you summon construct obviously, it's your first go to, but you can't get the invocation back obviously once you start going through the construct play, like once you get her into the graveyard because she can get back a Shadal spell and trap. Obviously you want to use either Shadal Fusion or El Shadal Fusion, but if we start with Invocation, we won't be able to get that card back um, unless you get Alistair. Um, so yeah, that's why I just play the two. Um, and yeah, just Invocation, just a really good generic Fusion spell, which is crazy. Um, and then for the last spell, obviously we play one Foolish Burial. Um, just basically send whatever Shadal and you get whatever effect. So why not play it? And now for the last traps, um, we got rest, one Rest Shadow Incarnation and one Schism. Um, honestly, I wanted to bump the Incarnation up to two just because once you use it once, you know, you kind of want to get it back just so you can keep going. Um, so that's why I was thinking about bumping up to two. But now with this Schism, um, I just play one on one uh, just because Schism is really good because now you can, now you have that ability with the Shadows to fusion using your monsters in your grave by banishing them. Um, so yeah, that's why you play the Schism. And like, and then it's just good removal as well. So that's why you just play one and one All right, guys, and now for the extra deck. Um, for the extra deck, I just, um, I play two's Construct. If you wanted to, I mean, we do play the Prayer Planet, Vertanaconda, Duran Bull Sword. Um, if you want to cut one of those cards out for the Construct, for an extra Construct, you can, but you know, Space can be tight with this extra deck because you do run through it a lot, especially if you're trying to get your initial play going. Um, but yeah, two construct, I think is good enough. Um, and yeah, but there are there are those times where you wish you had the third, and then there's other times where it's like, you know, two's enough. Um, so there, it just depends what you want to do with the deck. So, but for now, two construct, I think works well. Uh, for the next, we play double window. Um, besides your construct, window's like the other one. You can always max out on as well if you like, just because it's she's a good floodgate. Um, and yeah, she's just a really good card. Since we do run, since a lot of the shadows are dark um, and things like that, you can always, you know, get her out. And yeah, Wenda's just a really annoying card. 
For the next card, we play one El Shaddai Shekinaga. Um, obviously, this is for the um, if you, if you have, you have if you're able to get the hat trick into the grave. But also with Schism, um, if you're playing any Earth based deck, which Adam Mass Bear may not be so popular now with Black Dragon Me and Ban, but there are still a lot of good Earth monsters, generic Earth monsters that are good. So, in case you want to use Schism, um, I mean, obviously, you have to banish your hat tricker, or let's say you already use Cross Sheep. Cross Sheep's also an Earth. So you can banish that, summon Shekinaga, and then get rid of an Earth Monster. So, um, yeah, that's why she is in the extra deck. But she she's always probably one of those first cards you, you could take out if you like for the third construct or whatever other extra deck monster you like. And then for the next card, I play one App Cologne. Um, she's just a really good generic, uh, you know, to negate stuff. And she is a dark, so it does. So if you do use Schism to summon her. Uh, like I said, she's a dark, so she can get rid of a lot of monsters out there. I'll be probably you're probably thinking about getting rid of Dark Dragoons. Um, and yeah, as long as you bait out that first negate from Dark Dragoons, you can at least get rid of it um, with Schism if you can. Um, if somehow able to negate his effects as well. Um, so it's a lot to do just to get around Dark Dragoons, but yeah. Um, and then for the Invoked, I play one Macabre, one Purgatrio. Um, Purgatrio, I mean, obviously Makaba you want to have in the extra deck. Um, Purgatrio is kind of just more for, like, you could obviously pick Kaliga. You can play um, Raijin because we do play the Wendy. Um, so the thing is, if you do, uh, the Purgatrio, like I said, it's just more for, like, whatever you think um, would be best. I think Purgatrio is the best because there's going to be a lot of people trying to ash you. So the ash is just kind of free in the grave. And if you use Invocation, you can get Purgatory out really easily. And it just kind of punishes your opponent for having a big board too. So you can get over stuff with it. Uh, there's only play, I only play one Exceed in the whole extra deck, and that's Dweller. Just because there's those times in the combo where you do have two level fours out there. And I think Dweller is just really good just against a lot of decks. So that's why I still like playing it. If you want to cut it out, you can, but I personally still like playing Dweller. And now onto the links. Um, I play one Amrash because Amrash obviously is for Alistair or any normal summon monster that is um, thousand or less attack. So yeah, just Amrash is there just to get Alistair off the board. And then obviously we play one Gravity Controller because this is there to get rid of the construct. Because um, sometimes it'll, those hard times where you can't get a second body on board with construct to go into like a crash sheep or something. So that's why I still play the gravity controller just um, to get that construct off from the extra monster zone and start going from there. So that's why I still play the gravity controller. And also it's still a good card just to get around like monsters and stuff. Uh, for link twos, one crash sheep because you know, it's really good for fusions. Uh, one Lambda, because if, let's say, you do use your Gamma when they're trying to, you know, very situational, ask you when you use Shadol Fusion, um, you can at least get Gamma out, as long as you have no monsters. And then at least Lambda, um, just a good, like I said, generic two. And uh, yeah, just use from a two afterwards. So that's just really what it's there for. And then for the last Link 2, we play one Vert Anaconda, because so just play a crap load of fusion cards in the action in the deck. Well, only six, but that's a lot just for any just for any fusion deck. Um, you can send any of them, and you get to copy the effect, and that way you can get like either an extra window on board and things like that. So that's why we play it. And for the last link, I play one Borosaur just because um, there are all those times where you do um, swarm the board a lot and kind of want to end the game as fast as possible obviously um so yeah that's why boar swords in the deck just because you don't want the game to keep going so it's just there just to end games um but that is it for the deck profile you guys um let me know down in the comments below what your spicy texts are for should this should deck because there's obviously a lot of um things you can change here and there with the should um and yeah they're just a really fun deck um and yeah just let us know down in the comments below what your spicy texts are on your Shadal deck profile. Um, make sure you check our social media to engage with you guys because we want to know more about you guys. We want to know, have more ideas for deck profiles as well. Um, any test hand videos, things like that. Make sure you re reach out to us. And um, thanks for watching. Have a good one.
Oh!